G'day, I'm BLXZ and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Look at Australia, look at it, it's beautiful. Look at all this land we've taken. All this Italy bit is actually Australian controlled land as well, although for some reason we've given it over to Italy. Fat lot of good they're gonna do with it. They couldn't even hold their own bloody homeland. Look at it, look at us, we've done it with no troops at all. Now, I've had a bit of a, I suppose, a planning session, and what I've been thinking is that we need to reduce our fronts. What we're doing now is basically German, the Germany's problem in Russia, is they're going out and expanding their fronts, and that's what we're doing. As we go further and further out, we're just getting a bigger and bigger front, thousands and thousands of kilometers. So what I think we're going to do is abandon the south. Well, you know, they'll take it back gradually. Uh, the Japanese, they were probably going to garrison most of it for us so we're not going to lose too much and what we're going to do is i'm going to try and get everyone here to first of all stop what you're doing and i'm going to get you all to transfer up here as quick as you can and with that we're going to use this motorized division we're actually going to push up towards the suez canal we're going to take that and try and block it off get the front here and that'll slow down how quickly they can stream in to this area. If they do want to come in, they'll have to come right around, all around and, and pop in the bottom here, or they'll have to walk through the Sahara Desert. So if we can block them up here, we'll be in a better position. Cut their ships off as well. So that's what I'm planning on doing. Short fronts, battle in Northern Africa. And I may well actually turn this stuff over to heavy armor. I mean, speed's useful, but it's not quite as useful as I'd thought. I was expecting a little bit more out of it, actually. 12 k's an hour. Uh, I suppose they do work better on, on different terrain. And here, I think the infrastructure is essentially zero or one all the way. Uh, three, six, not that bad, actually. Being out here, it's pretty terrible. Who knows? We're not, we're not having too much attrition. I mean, apart from the heat, which is ripping us apart. We're not doing too badly, all things considered. Okay, that's going to be all eight of them up here in a good position. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run... Oh, how did I plan that? That's, that's all mountain along here, but here's desert. A bit of mountain there, but we can actually run up along and follow the course of the Nile. And I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to send you guys up here. And then I'm going to send you up running the course of the Nile up to Alexandria. Now, if I catch any people in here, of course I can pocket them along the way and, and wipe them out. But uh, I'm going to basically let my let Thomas Blamey and the Marines do that. I know this is Marines in the middle of the desert, it's probably not their ideal terrain. But I think they're doing pretty well. They're holding the front anyway. That's all they need to do. Just keep troops otherwise engaged. And look at that, they are facing some light tanks. Yeah, they're doing reasonably well here. I might actually take this opportunity to pocket this one troop here. It's not much, but if we can get it, it'll be good. Quick pocket, if we can get there, of course. Seem to be very slow crossing that river. Fall of Cairo. Okay, what happened here? Italian soldiers entered Cairo, did they? No, no, they're definitely Australian. Uh, I'll admit we did have a lot of Italian immigrants, but that was generally after. I believe that was after World War II. So, no doubt some of these Australians are indeed Italians, but I don't think it's the Italian army. Let's have a look. If we can cut this guy off here, that is a Indian group, I believe. Why is that so low? Because the attrition is so high. Hmm. Okay, we're in the middle of a sandstorm. Uh, okay, we've got it. We've basically very nearly secured the Suez. need to widen this up a bit 
and increase our hold. Ah, uh, you're struggling a bit. Why are you struggling? Doesn't matter, we forced them back. And we've pocketed one as well. Even better. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, come on. No, they broke through. Uh, I'm going to send you to Elamain. Come on, mate. Come on. They're definitely going quicker on this light terrain. There you go. There's a couple we've killed here. Quite a few troops over here, but if we can get this sorted, look at that, that's a massive front. And it's not a, it's a front I don't want to be fighting on. So what we're going to do is actually bring this right back. Way back, all the way back. So these guys are all going to retreat. I don't know what you're doing, but hopefully you'll fall back later. I want to bring my entire force back up north. There's nothing they're going to achieve down south. Nothing at all. Uh, what I do need to do is widen this considerably. So let's use you. Actually, let's use you to re-base down here. Good, good. Now, uh, nope, turn that off. and cut that entire pocket off so it's not bloody garrisoning down here. And do we have the Suez? I think we've got to control both sides of the Suez. So if we've got this port here, then we control the Suez. In which case, I'm going to send you over to take the port. And you might as well flank that fellow while you're here. Okay, so we've actually got, the Italians are holding here, we may have nearly pocketed whatever troops are in there, I don't expect there's very many. Uh, Legionary Romania is down, and oh wow, this is a mess. Germans are destroyed, but actually, the Japanese are coming in incredibly well here. If the Germans can keep distracting them for just a little bit longer, they've actually taken Baku, the Baku oil fields. That's huge. So Japan now, they're the ones to go to for oil. Uh, no, 26 oil. Why are they only got 26 oil delivery blocked? Okay, so they haven't got a, a clear line through. So they're denying the area, but they haven't actually controlled the area themselves properly. They haven't got a clear line to it. Japan's doing well. This is going to really give them most of Asia by the end of this. And if Germany can hold on for just a little bit longer, we might be able to make the Soviets capitulate. Uh, no, no, the Soviets are actually fighting back now. And you can see it. Have they taken Moscow back? Gorky, Yaroslav. The fuck is Moscow? Oh, there. Okay, no, it's, uh, it's still a long way from Moscow. But... Yeah, not pretty. They're going to fall back, so... Germans are basically destroyed now. What we really need, though, is a fight between the Allies and the Comintern. But if Japan can take... If Japan can make uh, make the Soviets capitulate, drive up and, and push them out here, we'll be in a very good position. Especially if they can keep coming up through here. Imagine pocketing all that. Uh, I don't know why the Germans are putting divisions down here. That's a bit of a waste, because you need them up north. Okay, time to reorganize, I think. So I've got everyone up here. I uh, don't know what you guys are doing down there. You've just... There we go. We're relocating back up. I don't need planes at some point in the future. I suspect they are going to dominate us. So what I'm probably better off doing now is... I think I'm going to be 
start producing some fighters. It's going to be a long time before it's actually useful for anything. If I cut right back there. Now I've got a bunch of fighters. It's not very many at all because I need more aluminium. But I can take that down south, I think. That'll gradually... could actually trade some. Let's see if I can trade for some. Aluminium. I only need a little bit. Japan has some, but not much. Uh, start with two and see what happens. Okay, nearly there. I need... I actually need a lot more. I need 18 more units. So, let's trade... Yeah, okay, trade the whole amount, fine, fine. And that'll let us pump out some fighters. We've got the rubber, we've got the oil, now we've got the aluminium. And if I cut you back... There you go. Mexican join the allies, that's fine. Uh, we do need more aluminium again, that's a mistake. Let's grab more. And that'll actually allow us to pump out quite a lot. Four per week at the moment. Once we get remaining aluminium, it's not going to be enough, is it? Uh, we're done. Look at that. We've done our entire focus tree. So let's think about this. We've got... I need more, but Japan has none left. And nobody else in the world will trade me. Oh, that's a bit shit. So we've got all the aluminium in the world. Now we can't... It's far, so four per week is currently what we're getting. And it's going to grow up quite quickly. If I actually put it there, they might grow quicker. I wonder if I, so if I put that... Say so if I put that there, we don't have a shortage. So it's now going to grow at the, pro, the full daily base gain, which will be more efficient in the long term. I can put that into here. Now what I can do is edit these divisions. What do I want? I want to want more heavy tanks and more self-propelled artillery. That's all I can do for now. If I select you and I change to an armor division, I'm going to have enough. Okay, we're not, we don't have enough heavy tanks. We don't have enough self-propelled artillery. We do have the manpower. I think we're going to do it. I know it's going to make us short for a while, but we're producing quite a lot of tanks per day. And I'll have... Okay, I need... I only need a couple more, actually, to be full, perfectly honest. It's made them green again. That's no good. And let's bring them all to... All over here. You, what I want you to do, I want you to take that. Go for it. Push. Meanwhile, these tanks are all going to come and push out and try and take. Uh, see if we can take Turkey. Syria, Turkey, Jordan, Israel, this kind of area. I reckon that's what we're going to push out and do. tanks probably not what you want to use in the desert probably prefer for lighter tanks but that's what we've got that's what we're going to use i will be actually jump, able to jump onto modern tanks in the near future so i'm going to think about that um, i don't need you to do that i need everyone to instead ah oh, fuck wrong button i still had that selected okay let's redo that I 
hate I hate this system. I it's almost good. This, um, it's almost a good system, but it just it's finicky. Really, re really finicky. This system sometimes it's great being able to just tell people to go out and attack, but at the same time, I uh, I do get the shits with it occasionally. Go off and to begin with, let's go up to Soviet territory. And you actually want to give you the order to move. I'm going to tell you to head down that way. More efficient. Okay, these guys are gonna push up. Hopefully. Yep, they're pushing up. Okay, you keep going that way. We're going to push into the west with our marine force and hopefully squeeze them all in between. Now they are green. I'm going to have to train them. They're currently negative 25%, but they're not far off leveling up a bit in ports. Trade influence. We've got heaps of trade influence. What? So they must be using it themselves, building their own. Okay, well, how many can you give me? There you go, 14 is not much. We do have more civilian factories though. So what are we going to do with that? Could we build more? And will I be worthwhile building more military factories or more dockyards? Let's have a look here. Dockyards, I think I'm pretty good with for now. More military factories, I think, are the way to go. Let's see. There's a lot of factories I can build up here. And you may as well dump a couple over there. So that's pretty good. I think we're going to get... Yeah, we're going to get a couple more in 12 more days, more spaces. But that's all we're going to build for now. And how's resistance going? Beautiful. Okay, we're going to build up that there, and that'll allow us to run a couple more lines of the things we need. Probably planes at this point. Even if we haven't got the resources for them, just more factories will allow us to make up for the fact that we don't have the resources. Uh, Mexican opposition's joined us, that's fine. Joined against us, I mean. Pause, I haven't got the frame rate to do this. Uh, yeah, looks like they've won. Oh, fuck me. This system sometimes. Just, just invade. Stop retreating, just invade. Go forward, not backwards. Okay, you are going to keep heading off this way. We haven't encountered any serious uh, opposition just yet. You should be moving, but you're not. Okay, we've basically got Syria for the, uh... Nice, very nice. With this, I don't need rubber or oil. I... Have we not done nuclear efforts? Apparently the first one doesn't count. Uh, yeah, here. Okay, apparently atomic research doesn't count. We may as well grab it. Simply because there is there anything else that I'm gonna spend my effort on. That could be useful, that could be useful. Those not so useful at this point. Um There's actually a lot I could spend it on. I'm probably actually instead of going nuclear, I'm gonna grab a modern tank. And that'll allow me to convert my forces over to a modern tank in the near future which is a bit quicker. It's like the upgraded hybrid between heavy and medium. They're actually pretty good tanks. 
everything is better than the heavy tank except for I believe there was one one thing that was my one minor thing that was actually weaker than a heavy tank everything else was better than the one before it um, what do we want here I could probably just grab that hmm struggling a bit in the mountains Maybe if you attack as well, we'd be better off. Nope, apparently not. Vi, what we'll do is we'll get you up here. Nope, we'll get you up here and then cut them off. Why are you attacking when you're being attacked? Okay, looks like the Germans have finally collapsed. The British forces have actually come in. So Germany's entirely gone. Now, the benefit here is that this is a lot of Soviet land that was also taken, I believe. Maybe not. I thought, that, yeah, this was Soviet land. It's probably not. Maybe it's Polish land. Either way, the downside here is that unless these guys go to war with Operation Unthinkable or something, we're going to have a hell of a lot of forces coming off this way and Japan is probably going to start being pushed back. They're already unfortunately being cut off up here, which is just stupid. So, not entirely sure where we're going to go from here. But I think that's actually a good, it's a little bit early, but I think that's where we're going to call this episode. This is the fall of the German Reich. It is a sad day because they were so very, very close to actually beating the Soviet Union here. So close. It's a lot of manpower gone. Uh, what did they end up losing? They lost. Uh, I can't see them anymore. Where are they? There was 1.6 million men against the Soviets. Soviets lost nearly 8 million. 7.5 million men. That's massive. Uh, against the... Wow, okay. Against the Allies, the Germans lost a huge amount. They were just incapable of pushing west. I don't know what it was. They couldn't get through. They kept attacking the Maginot, throwing themselves against that. They couldn't stop anyone who invaded into Italy. And they couldn't seem to get through Belgium into France. So this was a wildly successful war for the Allies. But we're not beaten yet. The Axis, now being led by Japan, will continue to push on. And we are going to... Well, I think we're going to focus on the Soviet Union at this point, and then the Allies will, a reckoning will have to come for them in the future. Who knows? But anyway, I've been PLXZ. This has been Hearts of Iron 4. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do indeed enjoy the content. And as always, take care, and I will see you next time.